Okay, so I want to do a heat transfer question specifically for a combination of thermodynamics and heat transfer when you're looking at the other disciplines exam and possibly the me mechanical FE exam. So for this question, we're going to be looking at the law of conduction and what we have is for a 5 meter and 3 meter area concrete wall, our K value is given at 0.8 watt per meter per degree Celsius. The inside temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and the outside temperature is negative 5 degrees Celsius. What is the rate of heat transfer if the thickness L of the wall is 2 centimeters? So let's draw our wall here. So we know we have some wall. And we have... It's going to be 5 meters by 3 meters, right? So, it's 5 meters by 3 meters. And the thickness, they call it L here in the question. L is going to be 2 centimeters, which is 0 0.02 meters, right? You just move the decimal place 2 to the left or divide by 100. 0 0.02 meters. So, that's that. This is our wall. We know this wall is made of concrete. And concrete, our K value for the wall, is going to be 0 0.8 watt per meter degree Celsius. And we're told that that inside temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Outside temperature is negative 5. What this means essentially is this wall is possibly part of a building. So this is, let's say... For example, we have a building and we're looking strictly at this wall. So let's close it out. Some building here and we're only looking at this wall here. And we're told the inside temperature. So the temperature inside here is going to be the 30 degrees Celsius. And the outside temperature, all they know the outside temperature as the temperature coming in, let's say from the outside, and this temperature is going to be 30 degrees Celsius. So we want to find essentially the, I'm sorry, negative 5 degrees Celsius. We want to find the rate of heat transfer. So the rate of heat transfer, what I'm going to do is use the equation in the handbook. So if we look at the Fourier's law of conduction, we know Q dot is going to be negative our k value is the thermal conductivity this is for specific materials it's the measure of how fast the heat flows through a material and the area is going to be the area of that wall this is going to be our the dt per dx is going to be the temperature gradient so we know Fourier's law of conduction denotes that the heat flux is going to be proportional to this temperature gradient here it's essentially the slope when we have hot and cold so it's that slope that's arrived at if I draw that so let's say I'm looking at a side view of the wall we know let's say on the left side we're gonna have some cold and on the right side sorry on the right side we have cold on the left side we have hot so hot here and we have cold here so we're gonna have this slope and this will be our temperature profile and we just take the slope here and this will be our temperature profile which has uh, it's gonna be DT per DX so we know that the heat, heat flux is proportional to the temperature gradient so Fourier's law of heat transfer so we're looking at conduction here and specifically I'm gonna not use this equation there's a an equation that's specific to walls in the FE handbook. It's this one. It's conduction through a plane wall. So let's use this equation. K value is still there. A is still there. The temperature, the difference in temperature is still there. And L is going to be the wall thickness. So that's denoted and that's going to be added. So let's go back to our notebook here. So Q dot is going to be our K value times A times T2 minus T1 divided by our L value. All of that is divided by our L value. 
So Q, which is the heat transfer that we will solve. Our K value is 0 0.8 watt per meter degree Celsius. So 0 0.8 watt per meter degree Celsius. Our area is going to be 5 by 3, right? Five, 3 by 5 or 5 by 3. So you take 3 meters times 5 meters. The base times the height. And the t change in temperature is going to be the 30 degrees Celsius minus the negative 5. So we do the 30 degrees Celsius, the inside temperature, minus, minus... 5 degrees Celsius. So negative and negative is going to be a positive. So we're going to add those. All of that is divided by the length, our L value, which is the thickness. They call it the thickness for L. So 0 0.02 meters. 0 0.02 meters. So you can solve for Q dot. And if we solve for Q dot, you should get around 21 thousand watts and for that you just divide by a thousand we can get kilowatts so it's 21 kilowatts so this will be our answer and let's see our choices it should be d so let me know if you have questions don't forget to subscribe and like and thank you